Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue SE. Then I'll take you for driving it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre TD V6 Vogue SE. It's automatic, it's Euro 5, 2015 on 15 plate. Absolutely fantastic condition. It's done 51,073 miles. Fuel economy, urban 33.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban 40.4 miles per gallon and combined is 37.7 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 7.4 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, out of a six cylinder, 254 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. I'll just tell you the service history. 27th of the second, 2018 at 22,023 miles, Lucas Land Rover. 22nd of the third, 2019 at 30,278 miles, Lucas Land Rover. 2nd of the sixth, 2020, 36,519 miles, Lucas Land Rover, 16th of the 11th, 2023, 49,118 miles, SNF Autos, Alperton. We've been so busy just recently, I've not been able to do the, the full videos, the proper walk round and so on, I've had to cut it short. But today we've, we've got this car and honestly, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's a, it's a lovely, colour combination and I've said this before with the last one we got in this colour I had to wait for a sunny day to show it off in all its glory because it really does look a different car in the sunshine beautiful colour green metallic it's got uh, the, the kind of cream leather interior it has deployable side steps fantastic specification the full glass panoramic electric tilt and slide sunroof silver trim up the side the body colored blades multi-spoke alloys one thing it hasn't got which i always say is better in my opinion it's not got rear privacy glass now just look at that without the rear privacy glass it looks so much better <laughs> the, the ones with rear privacy glass to me always look like a cut and shut they look like they've been cut down the middle and, and two halves welded together this just looks beautiful um, and I mean if you're in one of these and you sat in the back why wouldn't you want people to see you it's the best car on the road it's absolutely fantastic so let's see what else has it got high pressure headlamp wash silver Range Rover badges and the grill front parking sensors here <laughs> Range Rovers make me wish I'd paid more attention in English at school because I just haven't got the words to describe how good they are, how fantastic the ride is, how you feel when you're driving them. Um, the, it, honestly, it, it's beyond me. They are absolutely fantastic. Almost forgot, we've got power folding door mirrors, integrated tailgate spoiler, the car locks itself if you forget. Now, in order to open the back, if you just want to put shopping in, you can click the button under here. That leaves the bottom half of the, or the bottom section of the tailgate open. If you want to open both of them, if you're loading uh, something big in, then like so. Back folds down. Bags of room in the back. The hard load cover there. Um, if you want to shut them both, you click that button or this or you can just put the bottom bit up on its own at the moment so as i say best car in the world and this one's got fantastic specification if you want to tow if you're towing anything it's the best car to tow with in here we've got some buttons to put the seats down we can fold the seats down electronically using these buttons like so there you go seats go down so you don't need to mess about lifting a, a catch and pushing them forward and then doing the reverse when you get in all we need to do is just put that back up both sides go down they, they split independently of each other it's kind of a, a 60 40 but also you've got tow bar deployable tow bar so we've got on off switch here and then we've got the tow bar switch. And if you just watch down there, 
and make sure when you put it out, your shins aren't anywhere near the tow bar because the last little bit hurts. <laughs> Easy enough to put away. You've got the deployable side steps too. The car's just got everything. So, if you want to put the bottom up, you just press there, like so. If you want to close them all, I'll just put this back. You just click that, shuts itself. So we've got the reversing camera there, and we've got reversing sensors in the bumper. One thing I must remember too, Let's just see. The SE's got soft closed doors too. So you get back home, you don't want to wake the missus up. Push it to like so, and it shuts. Brilliant car. Best car to drive, best car to be a passenger in. I mean, the, these seats, honestly, they are so comfortable. It's just like an armchair. You've also got in the SE here. Here we go. I can put the seat up like so, or I can recline it. It's uh, it's a fabulous car. While I remember, um, I will just show you how the seats go down. So I'm going to go back in the the boot and put the seat down electronically. Here we go. So from the boot here, I want to load a load of stuff into the car and I want to put the seat down. There you go. Just with the touch of a button and I can do the other one too, like that. You see the front seat go forward. The seats go down and then the front seats return to the position they were in before. If there's enough room, of course, I'm sure there is. So that's it. Put them up again. It's that good. <laughs> the electric glass roof there, it's tilt and slide. You've got your heated seats on the outside here, because I know the fronts are heated and cooled, so I'm not sure whether the back are heated or cooled, but uh, as I say, we'll have to check on that. And then you've got your own climate controls, your individual climate controls. We've got the big rear centre armrest here, two cup holders. It's just, uh, it's just a lovely environment. The, the cream leather as well, the sunroof, you just sat a bit higher than the driver and the front passenger, so you can see over the shoulder, your view's not ob obscured. You've got Meridian speakers, the sound system in here is absolutely fantastic. If you like music, it's, it's a really nice environment to be in, it's, it's lovely to listen to. You can hear, you can hear instruments in, the, in a, a record that you've never heard before. It's better than the acoustics at home, it, it just is fantastic. As soon as you open the door, the side steps come out, makes it nice and easy to get out. Now for the best bit, let's go for a drive. So in the car, as so long as you've got the keys, foot on the brake, start the engine and uh, we're ready to go. I'll just get this air con on, so as I say we've got the two keys on us foot on the brake, click the start button, that's it. We've got electric memory seat. I've already set mine, so that's one. 
the second person that was driving this is there third person or just a different position for somebody is there absolutely fantastic and bearing in mind that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna set my position one so get the seat down get it back bit of an angle at the back the headrest move the headrest up like so that's that's perfect for me and then we've got the steering wheel now it's a wooden leather steering wheel as well and honestly it's a heated wooden leather steering wheel and it is a work of art it is absolutely beautiful but anyway let's let's just get the electric steering wheel down like so then we've got the mirrors so we'll click that out change the mirror like so down so we can see the door handles and then I click memory one so that's memory one saved the seat the steering wheel door mirrors so if I click like so you'll see all the door mirrors are changing the steering wheels changing the seats changing but the most important thing when I come back to the car and I click one then I'm right back to where I was before heated wooden leather steering wheel now I tried this before because I thought how have they got the heating element through the wood but I can assure you this heats up nice and toasty and so does the wood so let's get going of course you've got access height as well so if you press that button like so going down I've got my foot on the brake so that's why it's creaking but here we go I mean that that headrest is just like <laughs> the most beautiful pillow uh, I stayed in a hotel in Cologne and it had the most comfiest bed and pillows I've ever slept in I think they must have designed the Range Rover seats so let's get going three litre Vogue it is just beautiful I've got the blind I'm not quite comfortable here Need to be further back and a bit further up, so just update that memory one. Um, we got this car the other day. In order to advertise it, you have to enter all the details in Auto Trader. And within about an hour, we had a call, somebody wanting to come and see it. I, I videoed it anyway, the chap can't come till weekend, but I videoed it anyway because it's such a beautiful car. Um, such lovely condition such a great colour combination that I wanted you to see it really this is the type of cars we get and yes it's quite a lot of work doing a video and so on and I'll, I'll be working at night till 10 o'clock doing it but it's most important that you see vehicles like this because if you want to buy a Range Rover a second hand Range Rover and you want to buy it off us which a lot of people do these days we only buy good cars this is beautiful so deployable side steps got de deployable tow bar too it's the SE the back seats recline I don't think anything drives better I really don't I like the Bentley Continental GT I like the way that drives but I actually prefer the driving position over Range Rover it's certainly a Range Rover Vogue I prefer the sport for myself it's not quite as big and it's, it's you know just as luxurious but the only reason for that is like 99% of the time there's just me in it I, I would be okay with a one litre Range Rover that, that's fine I don't speed I don't accelerate too fast I don't do anything really I, I just like the car I like the look of it I like the comfort this is a three litre and trust me it is a fantastic car to drive the Vogue just irons out the bumps completely where the Range Rover Sport would just be a little you know bump 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 this is just like a big flipping cruise liner so comfortable and I love this I love this steering wheel one of the things with my demonstrators when I was at sales manager at Mercedes-Benz one of every car I had had a wooden leather steering wheel I just think it's it's just the 
height of craftsmanship and Range Rover, everything simple, everything beautiful, everything easy to use. It, it's a work of art. So we've got electric door mirrors there, you've got the access height button, your electric windows, your three position electric memory seats, steering wheels memorised and so is the door mirrors too. We've got paddle shift here so I can knock down like so. You can actually change it in the dash so that it only works in sport but I want it to work all the time. You've got cruise control here and, and it's also adaptive cruise control. So I click set, that's it. One button, I've just set it at 40 miles an hour. You see the car in front, it's keeping me a certain distance from there. You see the arrows on both sides, arrow at both sides. The small one and the big. So that's a big gap. The small gap, if I click that, it's now decreasing the distance between me and the car in front. So it's accelerating because I can get closer to that car in front. I'm just going to override it a little bit to get a bit closer. And then as soon as I let my foot off the accelerator, it starts slowing me down. Now also, I can increase that gap by hitting the one on the left. As I'm increasing that, the car's slowing down. The gap in front of us, between the car in front, is increasing. I can drive like that up the motorway and it will keep me at the same distance from the cars in front. Even if they slow down, I'll slow down without actually touching the accelerator or the brake. So that's quite a good accessory. We've got blind spot indicator warning lamps in the door mirrors. <laughs> I always say it, but as a motorcyclist or an ex-motorcyclist, they are a godsend and should be standard on all cars. They only need to work once and they've saved the money over and over again. Probably some motorcyclist life or a car, the driver's life or even your own families. So the cruise is still on. It's slowing me down. Look, I'm not touching anything and we're staying the same distance from the car in front. There we go. Let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. The has a TV so what but it's got the dual screen display which means the passengers can watch the TV the driver can use his sat nav I can't see the TV and the passengers can't see the sat nav so good features got Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming just I I mean I always say that <laughs> oh seriously <laughs> Does it look like I'm lying or does it look like I love these cars? What is it? Do you think I can lie as good as this? Nah, it's a great car. Here we go. That's the blind. There you go. That sounds like it's never been used. So there you go. Electric tilt and slide. Glass panoramic sunroof. I'm sure I, did, I mentioned deployable side steps, but they're quite funny too. You know, um, you know when you're coming into land, you're going on holiday, and you're coming into land, and the pilot never says, "Right." I'm going to put the flaps down or I'm going to put the landing gear down and there's this awful clunk and everybody goes, what, what was that? <laughs> well, that's what the side steps do. After a short while, they come in, there's a bit of a clunk underneath and then you remember that, <laughs> that it's the side steps. Um,
honestly. They just, I'm doing a 60. I just flip it down there and then I'm away. Knock it, knock it into eight. Set the cruise, just flip over here and then I'll decrease the distance between me and the car in front so it'll accelerate, catch the car up. We've got lane departure warning on there. Most stupid thing ever. This chap's just overtaken and gone in front of me. If I increase my distance like that, the gap is slowing me down and the distance between me and the car, who just cut in front of me when there's like a mile of space behind, we're back to a safe distance again. Lovely walnut cappings on the dash, the gear tunnel, match the steering wheel, the cream interior, the big armrest. We've got the little armrest here. If you're a bit narrower, you can just set it like so. Big armrest. There you've got a USB in, auxiliary in, and a power socket, and also a chiller or a cooler in the armrest. Keep your sandwiches cool. This this car is so beautiful that I really, really want to use it myself. Uh, the only problem is that I know if I tax it to use myself. One of you lot's going to come and buy it, and then I'm going to lose a month's tax, <laughs> and I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I'm saving up for my retirement, so every penny helps. You know, just round this roundabout like so. One-handed input. Two and a half tons. Well in control. Look at that. Half a turn, round a 90 degree. Oh, there's your nav anyway. As you sat nav, nice and easy to, to use again. Dead, dead easy. Big brakes, no judders, just pulling up nicely. Let me turn that up actually because it's a little bit, getting a little bit warm. Ah, it's getting warm because I forgot to put the blind back, that's why. And if I don't hurry up and do it, my cameras will knock off in no time. So the, this has the extended function remote for the seats. So I can move the seat squab out with that button. That is the, oh, that's the lumbar support pressing in nicely. And then we've also got, what's that? Ah, right. So there, there's a little round button and that's gripping my sides. Oh, there you go, holding me in place. I just see like, like that I'm not moving if I move that out and then I can slide across if you can see there I'm not sure you can but I'll just put that in there you go oh god what a if Carlsberg made cars show you how to um, pay your mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to stream audio and how to set the sat nav when we get back to the garage. Really simple and easy system.
is fabulous. Aircon's nice and icy. Oh, forget my head if it's loose. So heated front screen, also the heated seats. Click on there, heated seats, but then if I click down, you now have cold air coming through the perforations in the seat. So the, the climate seats, instead of having a big wet patch on your sh shirt at the back, there's cold air coming through the seats, keeping you nice and nice, nice and chilled. Ooh. Well, at least he's got a hat on. I don't think that would have done him much good against the two and a half ton Range Rover. That that's it. Car's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, to be honest, I couldn't wait to take photographs of it. Like I say, it may well be sold. We may never hear from the guy again, but it may well be sold on Saturday. Uh, but I, I just, it's such a nice example and, and fitting of all the other cars that we try and sell, we try and buy, that I wanted you to see it. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.